Hi students, this is Dr. Badrinath. Uh, today's topic is a map, M-A-B, map. See, most of the pharmaceutical companies nowadays after the corona, compulsory they are asking two to three questions regarding the maps, monoclonal antibodies after the corona. Actually, before the corona, they are not asking, they are asking about the tablets, capsules, soft gelatin capsules, hard gelatin capsules, ointments, they are asking like that. But uh, after the corona, the pattern is changed. They are asking about the immune system, what is antigen, what is antibody, what is monoclonal antibody. Okay, you tell me the product of any two monoclonal antibody injections in the market, which are present in the market, which they were used in the, for the purpose of uh, COVID. They are asking like that. See, question paper pattern has changed because that is due to the corona. Okay, the ordinary students uh, are, uh, they will know up to the level of remdesivir, but the extraordinary students, extraordinary students, they know about the maps, monoclonal antibodies. They know the even injections also, monoclonal antibody injections, which are available in the market. They know. Yeah. See, here, what the flying object, why? This, everybody knows this is corona, but here the flying object, if you see, uh, it looks like a flies on the sky. Y shape, this Y shape are called as a antibodies, monoclonal antibodies. Okay, it looks like a flight. I will tell you why, why this monoclonal antibody, what is a antibody, okay, what is the difference between antibody and monoclonal antibody, everything I will clear up your doubts. See, first we will see antibody. What is an antibody? Later we will see in the next slide, monoclonal antibody. Okay, see antibody means it is a blood protein, this Y shape, this is antibody. It is a blood protein which is produced by the body, very important, which is produced by the body, name itself indicates body, it is name, the name includes body, okay, which is produced by the body in response to the specific antigen. See, this is antigen, not this, this entire Red color is called as a pathogen. This pathogen consists of a many antigens. See, this is triangle antigen. Uh, this is a, just like a square shape antigen like that. Pathogen consists of number of antigens. See here. Okay? Right. So, body produces antibodies, antibodies in response to specific antigen. So, this antibody, which is the shape, it fits here. So, it kills this antigen, not this. Because the shape is changed, it cannot fit there. Okay? Antibody is nothing but you can say it is a immunoglobulin. Almost uh, it is nothing but immunoglobulin. You can say immune system is uses these antibodies to neutralize or to kill the antigen, like a bacteria, virus. Okay. See here, this is pathogen. A different antibody will be made for this antigen. Okay, this is one antibody which is produced by our body. For this antigen, different antibody will be made for this antigen by the body. Another antibody will be produced which is suitable for this antigen. Okay? Right. Uh, this is your syllabus. You can see monoclonal antibodies, antigens. That is, that is your uh, topic. Now, this is uh, about my notes, complete notes. My notes is available in the my app, uh, that is, you can be downloaded from the Google Play Store. You can open the course automatically as per the PCA syllabus. You will be get it. Okay. Important subjects are already uploaded. Remaining subjects will be uploaded. So go to the store option. See the here? Store option. You can be find. And this is about my YouTube channel. Go to the playlist option. There you can be find a number of uh, subjects as per the syllabus. Okay. If you click on each subject, you will get a um, uh, topic wise. Yeah, here you can see what is a, what is monoclonal antibody. See, monoclonal antibodies are laboratory made. That's why here I kept a laboratory. In previous image, I kept a human body. But monoclonal antibody, I kept the laboratory. We have prepared in the laboratory, laboratory made protein designed to act like a, it acts how you have designed, you acts like a human antibody, okay, by the binding to a specific proteins, 
in the body called as antigens. These are the antigens. Okay. Uh, these are the antigens may include the proteins from cancers or it may be a bacteria. These antigens may be many types, cancer, bacteria, virus, anti-inflammatory cell, mobs, in short form, mobs can act to help our immune system by directly recognizing and destroying the dangerous antigens such as the viruses, bacteria. And the mobs are generated from a Single B cell clone, that's why this is called a clone, monoclonal, because it consists of only, the, I will explain you in this slide, why this is called as a monoclonal antibody. Yeah, now you can see, monoclonal, mono, able to react with only one type of antigen. This cannot be react with this antigen, it is a mono, mono react with only one type of antigen, clonal, because maps are generated from a beta cell clone. I will explain in the next slide. I will show you how to prepare a maps. Antibody, structure is similar to antibody. That's why this is called an antibody, because Y shape, same Y shape. Everything is same, but that is a body made. This is a man made in the laboratory, okay? See, here you can say single type of antibody are identical and are directed against a specific. See, these are the monospecific. Mono means a single. It recognizes only one type of uh, epitope, antigenic determinant, not the other type. It is a homogeneous. Homogeneous, it's an identical immunoglobulin molecules. Okay? It displays the identical binding strengths. It is produced in unlimited in the laboratory. You have to take a laboratory animals and who can be prepared, who can produce a number of monoclonal antibodies, unlimited. It is derived from the animals, especially from the mobs. If you see the structure of the body, actually I fall in love with this structure. Okay? Fall over for society. See, this antigen, antibody is a Y-shaped structure. Monoclonal antibody looks like a letter Y. If you see in detail, you will get a here two colors. This color is called as a heavy change. See, very long, very long and very heavy. Like that you can remember because it is a inside also. Outside, uh, light change, this color, light change. Why shape? But here light change will not be there. Light change is only restricted to this area. Now, this heavy change joined here and here joined by disulfide bonds. Two, two disulfide bonds with there. Disulfide, disulfide. Total, this is one disulfide bond. This is another disulfide. Here also you can be find disulfide bonds here also very important diagram and uh, this is a place and uh, here you can see the two letters b and c b means variable this is variable from one monoclonal antibody to another monoclonal antibody this varies because it only recognizes see these are the shapes it recognizes the antibody these shapes are different different uh, monoclonal antibodies consist of a uh, different shapes of this part Remaining every part is the same. Okay, it is a constant. See, this structure is constant, constant. Wherever C is there, constant. Wherever uh, L is there, light. Wherever H is there, heavy. Okay, it's very, very important. This is called a hinge region, just like a spring. Spring region. It is carbo, two carbohydrates are attached to it. This, this is called an effector region. It's a disulfide bond. This is an antigen binding site. These are the two. Here. This is an antigen with the antigen binding sites. Okay, right. The same whatever I have explained, the same thing. It is a Y shaped. It is consists of a totally four polypeptide chain. One, two, three, four. Four polypeptide chain. Two heavy chains. Two light chains. Same. Okay. Uh, monoclonal antibody and polyclonal antibody. This is a one more new term has came. Why this polyclonal antibody? Monoclonal antibody. See here. See this image. See, this monoclonal antibody reacts with only with the triangle shape. This is a triangle antigens only. Here also it is reacting. Whereas a polyclonal antibody reacts with various epitopes which are present on the pathogen. See, it is reacting with the square shape. It is reacting with the here square shape. Here it is reacting with the octagon shape or pentagon shape. Here it is reacting with the triangle. That's why here round shape. This is called a polyclonal, monoclonal polyclonal. It contains a single antibody, recognizes only a single determinant. Whereas here it determines the many determinants on the antigen. It determines. Okay. It is a 
A single class of antibody produced, it is a specific antibody using an impure antigen. Okay. Uh, it is a highly reproducible. Reproducibility is somewhat difficult here. Okay. And you will get a cocktail. What is this cocktail? Uh, it's a mix of two and see here, my dear students, see this is a therapeutic monoclonal antibody. Monoclonal antibody. This is a therapeutic cocktail. Here you can see polyclonal. The, uh, I just I have explained what is monoclonal. Monoclonal. This is a polyclonal. Then you will you will get a term therapeutic cocktail antibody. Cocktail is nothing but a mix of two antibodies. Two monoclonal antibody if you mix, you will get a See, that's why here two structures. Here it is able to identify only one structure. Here it is able to two structures. It is a more than three because it consists of a two monoclonal antibodies. Memory cells, B cells, very, very important. Whenever the virus will enter, beta cells are responsible to produce the antibodies. Very, very important. That's why we are taking a beta cell, beta cell, beta cell. Beta cell is very important. Beta cells are present in the spleen. I will tell you, beta cells are responsible for the production of the uh, antibodies. Whenever the virus enters, these produce. I will tell you here. Yeah. First animal, you have to give a immunize. That means that you have to give a corona, dead corona virus. You have to give an animal. So what happened? You, you are immunized. So give some time to animal, like a three months or four months or like that. And isolate the spleen. This spleen consists of a beta cell. Just now I told you beta cells are responsible for the production. Now, beta cells will start producing the, uh, this one, uh, antibodies. Now, you take cancer cells because cancer cells will divide rapidly. That's why it produces number of beta cells, number of monoclonal antibodies within a fraction of time. That's why we are using a take myelima cancer cells for rapid multiplication. So, now what happened? Beta cells you fused with the cancer cells to produce a hybrid of cells. These are called as a a hybridoma cells, see here, this hybridoma cells produces number of uh, more maps, number of maps, okay? And if is there any unfused, see, unfused myelima cells, unfused beta cells, kill them, kill them by using an amino protein, okay? Only fused we want. If both are fused, you will get a hybridoma cell, number of maps will be produced that the you can be go for screening and uh, monoclonal antibody. You can be go for retire, purification and separate. And here you can find the advantages like bulk production is possible. They bind to a specific disease and damage your cell. They treat with a wide range of conditions. And the disadvantages of it, the time consuming process is very expensive. Maps may not recognize the original antigen sometimes. Sometimes because small peptides, when are the small peptides, small fragment of antigens, if it is there on the organism, it may not prove. 99% of the cells do not survive during the fusion process. If 100 cells, if 100 cells you have kept for the fusion, only one cell will be fused with the myelima cell and beta cell. The remaining 99% will be die. And if you see the application, therapeutic applications like cancer, leukemia, lymphoma, breast cancer, lung cancer, colon cancer, asthma, osteoporosis, immunosuppressant organ, Transplantation for immunosuppressant also we are using MAP. Actually, MAP is a for immune system. But now, if you want to suppress the immune system, MAPs you can use. That's another science. Autoimmune disorders like rheumatoid arthritis, Crohn's diseases, and infections like corona, hepatitis, SARS, diagnostic application to find the radio immunosity, ELISA, enzyme linked immunosorbent assay. Organ imaging, size of the organ. If you want to know, you can give the maps and you can find in the X ray or CT scan. Organ imagination, organ size, protein purification by using an elution column chromography. See, this is the names they will ask in the Cassirivi map. Map means monoclonal antibody. Keep in your mind, monoclonal antibody. Imdevi map, these two they will ask in the examination or in the interviews. Pharmaceutical interview. It is a cocktail, it's a mix of two antibodies. Cocktail of two antibodies prevents the development of resistance to treatment. This is coronavirus. This coronavirus is a pathogen. It consists of a, uh, antigens on their surface. See here. Okay, Casirivimab, Imdevimab, monoclonal antibodies bind to receptor binding. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, wonderful. It is a launched by the Yeshoda Hospital, very good and uh, excellent hospital. 
Kasirivi map and Yimdevi map launched by the Isola Hospital. It is a miracle. It is a cocktail. It is a new antibody cocktail drug for COVID treatment. Very, 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 very important in all the interviews. Okay, right. I will end my session here.